Traders, what's good? Thank you guys for joining me for another episode of the Trading Journal here at Elementary FX. It is currently 26th of May. It's a Friday and the markets are closing in about 12 hours. Unfortunately, I am ending this week with a losing trade. So this is the analysis behind the Euro Yen long opportunity that I took yesterday. And basically, we can identify that there is a very nice um, a setting triangle right here because price has been making higher highs. However, price has also been respecting this area of resistance right here. And the natural thing that we can expect from an ascending triangle would be a breakout to the upside. And that's what we got exactly from this pair. You can see that price did make a push up past this level of resistance. However, I missed uh, this entry, this potential long entry. So I was waiting for a re-entry around this area right here. I was hoping for a retest of this level of resistance, which I was hoping turned into support. And that's what we got price made a push down this area i actually had my buy limit at 125.27 my um stops were 38 pips below below this low right here and targets were about 47 pips up at the previous structure high so when price made a push down my um limit order was triggered and i was in the trade and price made a push back up for about 25 pips and at this point I moved my stops around 8 pips below my um my entry because as you can see we made previous higher lows right here and I figured that if price were to come down in this area it would possibly retest it and that's what we got price came up retested this area right here before making another push up and at this point as you can see it was about 6 in the morning if you look below here it was about 6 in the morning and this was where I decided to go to bed and um when i woke up i looked at my um i looked at the charts and saw that i was stopped out for about eight pips so this was my um so this was my losing trade on the euro yen looking back um, i actually wrote down on my in my journal that the mistake that i made was that i did not consider the higher time frames because um if you were to look at the four hour chart or possibly the the daily chart you can see that we have a very nice level right here which formed a double top and that potentially signifies uh, that price does not want to continue its way higher. So that was potentially one mistake that I made and I will possibly be looking at the higher time frames in future trades. So this has been um, my trading journal entry. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.